Okay, so uh, here's where we left off with our last chap chapter, particle systems. Um, we're going to be looking at uh, autonomous agents. And uh, we're going to be ignoring particle systems, uh, at least at the beginning. So let's just go in and clean out the stuff uh, related to particle systems. go down here. I'm not going to delete the class, but I'm just going to delete that stuff and then this stuff and we'll fill in fill in that later. So that kind of ignores particle systems for now. The next thing I want to do is I want to go in here and uh, look at this line of code and uh, basically what it does is it constrains the velocity between 10 and 0. So this 10 right here is uh, the max velocity that we're allowing. And instead of having that hidden, I want to give it a, um, a, uh, a variable, a class variable. And that way it will make it more, more easy to, uh, to change that. Okay, and so uh, we have our class mover. Below that, we have our class confetti. Uh, below that, we have our class particle systems. And uh, below that, this is so we can kind of, uh, for the most part, we can ignore what's going on uh, going on above this uh, this line right here. And so what we'll be changing is just the code down here. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is I want to set up a, a vehicle class and it's uh, our type mover basically right now in this uh, video it's going to be the exact same thing as a mover but we'll add functionality to it in the future so def well, we need to initialize it and uh, we're going to use the same variables that we need for our mover. So we need a position, velocity, acceleration, and mass. And uh, then we call all of those on the movers init. So I'm just going to bring all this down. Okay, so basically basically with that we've created a vehicle class that is right now it's the exact same thing as a mover um, but we're gonna like I said add functionality to it so let's try and test it really quick uh, so vehicle vehicle and um, so we need a position and I'm just gonna put in zero 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 we need a velocity. Uh, I'm going to have 0, 0, and have it initialized at 10. Uh, for our initial acceleration, I'm just going to put in zeros there. And then for our mass, um, I'm just going to drop in 30. And if it acts weird, uh, we'll just change the mass according. Uh, so now that we've created a vehicle, we can use it inside of our time frame so uh, vehicle we can update it and then for this moment in time we can uh, say vehicle dot op and uh, remember that that's a function that returns the orientation plane and then we can return the mass. Okay, so let's try this and see what happens. And uh, right now uh, we have uh, the asteroid environment on, I believe, inside of our mover. Uh, we have bouncing environment. Well, let's take a look at this and see what happens. Okay, so 
it's uh, <laughs> the most uh, boring thing that we've done with a mover in a long time, but it will uh, uh, it allows us to get started. And um, I'm gonna hide these. Okay, so um, now with this setup, we can get started talking about wh what we're really going to do with autonomous agents.